Hey, it's Marin, and this is the November 2019 forecast for Sagittarius Risings. So we'll start out with the astrology, then we will move into the tarot, and then we will move into the oracle deck to see what, what is all coming together for Sag Risings this month. So starting out on the 4th, Mars will square Pluto between your 11th and 12th and 2nd houses. Watch out for some conflict or drama with friends or networking that then influences your financial world and makes you to make asks you to make changes regarding that. On the 8th, the sun will try Neptune between your 12th and 4th houses, which is a really beautiful aspect of your spiritual life, allowing you to find more ease and harmony at home. On the 11th, the sun will conjoin Mercury in a Kazemi in your 12th house. So something that happened behind your back or with some spiritual, maybe you're getting a download like through meditation, something behind your back might also be coming to light as well. Expect illuminated information of something you weren't aware of on the 11th. On the 12th, there's a Taurus full moon in your 6th house, a culmination from the past 6 months of something regarding your health or self-care routine coming to a head. On the 14th, there's a Venus square to Neptune between your 1st and 4th houses, so expect something good to happen regarding you and yourself and some ease regarding your identity, but make sure that that ease and harmony regarding yourself is not clouding your judgment regarding your home or family life. On the 24th, Venus, or on the 23rd, Mars will oppose Uranus between your 12th and 6th houses. Watch out for something going on in either your subconscious mind or behind the scenes with you, negatively impacting your physical health. On the 24th, Venus conjoins Jupiter in your first house, which is like such an awesome aspect, I have to say. The two benefics, the two most positive, life-giving, um, harmony-bearing planets are conjoining in your house of self on the 24th. So 24th is a great day to do just about anything regarding you. On the 26th, there's a Sagittarius new moon in your first house, a great time to plant seeds and set intentions regarding you and your physical body and your goals for the next six months to come. On the 28th, there's a Mercury trying to Neptune between your 12th and 4th houses, so some spiritual information or psychological information might come to light, and then that allows you to find more ease and harmony at home. On the 28th, there's a Venus trying to Uranus between your 2nd and 6th houses, which is allowing you to have some benefits coming in money-wise that then have some unexpected but positive health changes. So with that being said, let's look at what the tarot cards coming up for us Sag Risings are. And the Ace of Pentacles has to deal with having our secure basic material needs and like common sense world met. And I think that's happening for you this month and that's allowing you to have an awesome time pursuing your own goals. So we'll look now at the Oracle deck card, see what comes up for us. Sorry, I had to switch cameras because my cool new like Nikon Z6 camera, I don't have a converter for the SD card yet to upload. So I having to switch over to my old camera just for a minute to finish this off. We got the priestess called priestess card. How are you being called to step up and lead? I think with so many of your blessings coming your way and so many needs being filled for you, your next step is to step up and lead those around you and fulfill the role of a mentor or a guide and get a lot of fulfillment out of that. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, do all the things. I do offer private astrology consultations down below. Would love to read for you. Otherwise, I will see you next month.